Finally 
presence of God to unite Dustin Jonah Keller and Kendra Lee Reynolds in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman who are totally committed to each other as companions for life. The Lord declared that man shall leave father and mother and hold fast to his wife and the two shall become one flesh in the building of a home. Who gives this bride to be married? You may be seated. Dustin, Kendra. The home is built on love, which is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, where he says this, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at the wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. 
go share together in the responsibilities. When there is a sorrow, the sorrow will be half, and when there is a joy, the joy will be doubled. Paul teaches in Ephesians 5 that marriage is a picture, a portrayal of Christ in the church, and as you love and honor and serve one another, you are showing a beautiful picture of Christ and the church. Time for the vow. Dustin, do you take Kendra to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you commit yourself to her growth in grace and her fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And do you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? And Kendra, will you take Dustin to be your lawfully wedded husband and commit yourself to growth in grace and his fulfillment as a person who is useful in God's kingdom? And do you promise to love, honor, and true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? Of the ring. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of gold symbolizes the purity of your love for one another, and the uncle represents the unending bond which you're making today, which can be broken honorably in the sight of As you're giving the ring, repeat after me. Kendra, with this ring, I pledge my life and my love to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Kendra, repeat after me. Dustin, with this ring, I pledge my life and my love to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the, just the glorious occasion, we thank you right now for the vows that Dustin and Kendra have taken. We ask, Lord, that you would seal them. We pray your strength and your guidance in their marriage. We pray your protection and your provision in their marriage. Lord, we pray that as they grow together in marriage, that they would grow closer to you first as they grow closer to one another. We ask that you would be honored by their marriage, that you would be lifted high in their relationship, and above all else, that you would be praised in their life. We pray all of this in Commitments before God and these witnesses, by the authority of God and the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you and make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. If the bridge this gap I can see ya Through the curtains of the waterfall When I lost it Yeah, you held my hand But I tossed it Didn't understand you were waiting As I told this little waterfall So say that you run the